live, then I am here right now to do an unboxing of the new San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie figures from the folks at NECA Toys. Really exciting stuff. Awesome. What's going on, guys? Looks like we got a bunch of folks joining the stream right now. Thank you guys so much for popping in. Really appreciate it. Uh, first of all, does everything sound okay? I've got my mic cooked up. I've got my camera all good. Everything sounded good. Everything great. So yes, right here, very exciting stuff. The folks at NECA Toys were super cool to send along the amazing upcoming motion picture Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. I have been so excited for this uh, ever since they announced it. Uh, I've been a big fan, obviously, of these figures and... Before we got this, of course, we got this guy right here uh, being the uh, the quarter scale figure. So this is Mikey. I brought Mikey in here just to kind of show. I think it would be good for comparisons and stuff. Uh, but the quarter scale figures are huge. They're massive action figures, but they are just some of the absolute best Ninja Turtles figures that have ever been made. They're the perfect likenesses to the original movie, which is of course, my all-time favorite, one of my favorite representations of the Turtles, but I love that film. Uh, and ever since they were releasing these, me and so many other people were hoping that they were going to do the smaller 7-inch scale figures or 6-inch scale figures of these sculpts because we wanted actual figures. And for the longest time, uh, due to licensing, NECA was unable to do it. But amazingly, they've worked their magic once again, and now we've got this box set right here. Just look at the, look at the size. Look, Mikey is like the same size as this whole box. <laughs> but we finally are going to get the, uh, the new smaller scale versions of these figures. Now, of course, these are San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And if you are new to this or if you're bummed out about it, first of all, I get it. That's always a bummer when you can't just walk into a store and buy figures like this. Uh, but part of the reason that NECA has to do this is because of licensing. NECA can only sell Ninja Turtles figures in the smaller scale as convention exclusives because Playmates Toys holds the master action figure rights to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, thus barring them from being able to sell stuff like this at retail or even online unless it's in an exclusive capacity. So that's why NECA has to do it the way they do. Now, luckily, they are able to still do pre-orders online for shipping. So if you can't make it to San Diego Comic-Con, you can still order them online and you can have them delivered as long as you're able to get a hold of them because they are first come, first serve. The good news is the quantities seem pretty high on these. There are 5,000 of these being made available and there are 2,000 being made available with this exclusive like city diorama, which is really crazy. I did not get the city diorama. Um, I only got the actual figure box set, which is what we're going to be taking a look at here today. But for anybody who's curious about the pre-order information, uh, I put the link in the description of this video. It's the uh, the NECA store uh, online here. You can just do a search for the NECA store. The sale starts on June 6th, which is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, and they're going to do three days. So it's like the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th. They're going to be putting quantities online. They're first come, first, first come, first serve, and they are two per household. So hopefully everybody can get them that wants them. I really hope it's not too difficult because I want everybody to get these. So, enough yammering. I'm just running my mouth here. I'm talking about all this. I'm so excited. I want to do this live unboxing because I thought it'd be fun to show this stuff off here with you guys live. But then as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to do my usual photography and I'm going to put together an actual toy review. So if you would rather see this in the actual review form, I've got that coming as well. So don't worry about that. Okay, so this right here is what we're getting uh, for the standard release. Uh, the price point on this is going to be $125, and it comes in this large-scale box that looks like the old VHS tape release, which is amazing. Uh, this is very nostalgic for anybody my age specifically who had this VHS tape, who watched it on repeat. It's really cool because we got this large oversized box that looks just like the old VHS cover. Of course, instead of the movie, it says the figure at the bottom which is a nice touch the old FHE logo has been turned into the NECA toys logo which I love they did that on the quarter scale figures too and even the sides of the box there look at that they look like the sides of the VHS tape box I think that is fantastic 
Now the back of the box is pretty special, at least for me, because I was not expecting this. So the back looks just like the VHS box with quotes, but look at these quotes. Specifically, look at this top quote right here. I got quoted on the box! Oh my gosh, my mind is blown. You have no idea. So obviously this quote is about the quarter scale figures. They took it from my review of the quarter scale figures. And these are very similar in sculpt to those. I think they added some new articulation and stuff, which we'll look at. But basically, the sculpts are the same shrunk down. So yeah, uh, and I'm in good company here too. My buddy Nick from the Foosh is quoted on here. And of course, my broski Zack Ryder. Woo woo woo. He's quoted on here as well. Uh, that is amazing. I mean, like, now I'm a part of history with this Turtles box, and that's, like, that's... I was so excited. I was geeking out when uh, people started posting pictures and showing this because I, I saw it online before I even got home and saw it myself. Uh, but it's so cool. NECA, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And, uh, man, this is the truth. Those quarter-scale figures, there's never been a better set of movie based action figures for turtles. All right, so this works like a slip cover. We slide the slip cover off and it reveals the window box showcasing our figures within. I'm gonna try real hard not to get a lot of light glare on here. Uh, and I apologize if I'm looking at my screen more than the camera because I'm trying to make sure I'm holding this up so you guys can see it. But we got all four figures right there in the box. Leo and Donnie at the top, Raph and Mikey at the bottom. You can see it comes with four slices of pizza, the mutagen ooze canister, all the signature weapons right there in the box. And we even have some different uh, swappable bandanas. Unlike the quarter scale figures where they were cloth bandanas in the back, these are plastic. So we've got some interchangeable bandanas so we can change the way that they look, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the back of that gives you some nice photographs of the figures inside, which are the awesome pictures that we saw online. So very, very cool stuff. So what do you guys think? You ready for me to, to dig in and open this up? I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump right in here on this. Uh, let me bend down. Give me get my scissors here. All right, cut open the tape. Here we go. Not a mint in box collector here. We open this stuff up. So I'm going to slide this right away. This, this is nice too because it easily just comes out just like that. Very cool. I'm going to set that down off to the side because uh, I want to show you guys. Look at the uh, the inside here. Make sure I don't get a bad glare. Do you see the, the cool little like, sewer layout inside the box? That's pretty sweet. That's cool. I like that. All right, we're going to set the box off to the side. And we're going to start looking at the figures themselves here. I'm just going to pop them out uh, one by one, and we'll try to get an up-close look. Let me make sure they twisty tied in. Ah, oh, we got twisty ties here. We got to be careful with those, obviously. So while I'm uh, undoing the twisty ties, how are you guys doing? You doing good? Hopefully your week is going well. Oh, I'm gonna fight with the packaging. <laughs> this is the part that you don't typically see in my videos: me fumbling with the packaging and trying to get things out of the boxes uh, so that I can properly review them. Oh my gosh. This, this is just, this is awesome. Okay, so let me bring him up here. Hopefully my camera gets a good focus for you guys. It might focus on me, uh, but just want to get him up there. Look at that. Look at the details on this thing. It's amazing that he looks this good in this small of a scale here. Just unbelievable. Look at the details on the shell. So let me bring quarter scale Mikey back over here just so you can see. This is here they are side by side. You can really see the size difference there. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. These are amazing. Oh my gosh. Alright, Mikey, you sit right there. Alright, so here's what we got going on here. These feel nice and solid too, I gotta say. It feels nice and sturdy. Really good, really good material here. Alright, so the head. Looks like we can rotate that all the way around there. Gosh, look at the eyes. The sculpt on the eyes, so good. Uh, we got the ball joints at the shoulders there. We can swivel them. We can swivel at the uh, uh, elbow there, or the uh, bicep it looks like, right above the elbow. And then you get a nice bend at the elbow too. Actually, it's double jointed at the elbow. I'm not sure you can see that. The, knee, the pad's over that, so that's really nice. Uh, the pad hinders that a little bit, but it also hides it really nicely. Uh, we can swivel it at the wrist. We got the hinge joints at the wrist right there. This is a little weird doing this live, so I, I'm, I apologize if you're not if you can't see that very good. Um, 
He's actually articulated underneath the shell. So the shell is hard. This is a hard plastic, but look at this. He actually does have a nice torso joint underneath the shell there. So we can kind of rock him around. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how we got with the legs here. The legs are a little tight. Yep, there we go. And you can kind of see we got the nice, the ball-like joints there, the hinges, the ball joints underneath. So legs can go outwards. They're real tight. So be a little careful with those probably at first. You gotta loosen them up. You can swivel them there at the thighs. Just like that. Then the knees, ooh, the knees are all tight too. Ooh, and they're double jointed, just like the elbows. See, we got that bend there. So again, the pads kind of cover the joints. You can kind of see it in there. But that's a decent amount of articulation there, good range of motion. And then the ankles look like they're just on the hinge joints. So the ankles can move forwards and backwards. Little bit of side to side motion, but not a whole lot there. But that is a decent amount of articulation functions really well uh, it's nice and solid too so they're not loose or anything so you shouldn't have any problems posing these guys um, I want to look at this interchangeable bandana real quick so this is really interesting so you'll see that the bandana is kind of draped off to the side right now it looks like it's just on a little peg here there we go look at that so it just pops right out of a little peg on the back just like that and we've got a little interchangeable one. Let's see how, oh, it pops in really nicely. Oh, so the, now it's kind of like blowing out to the side. Or we can swivel it downwards over the back. Or you can swivel it this way. So that's pretty cool. So it's basically like they've got one that's molded that's kind of more laying down. And then one that functions, well, well this one kind of drapes over the shoulder on the other side too. So it really kind of gives you some options there. It looks like you can kind of mix and match those a little bit um, for some different ways to pose these guys up. All right, I'm going to pop the twisty ties off of some of these other guys here. Uh, and then as I'm looking through these, I'll try to answer some questions for you guys too real quick in case you've got anything specific. Awesome. I'm glad that the audio sounds good. I've got a different microphone hooked up for this live stream, so that works a little bit better. So how's it going, guys? Everybody doing good out there? You guys all planning to, to try to get a hold of this? Any of you going actually to San Diego to buy it? All right, I've almost got all these twisty ties off here. Can I go over the articulation again? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go over the articulation again. Let me, um, I'm gonna pop out one of the other guys here. I'll try, to, I'll try to show it off a little bit better too. I didn't do a very good job of, of holding it towards the camera. And then I'll start popping some of these weapons out. Oh, we got some interchangeable hands too. That's worth noting. So we'll look at the interchangeable hands too. Okay. Pop this back up so I can see what I'm doing here. I had switched between the chat and my uh, my camera view. All right, so here's Leo. Look at that Leo. Gosh, look at the sculpt. The sculpts are just beautiful. The paint deco is wonderful on these. So top notch all the way around on that. Okay, so let me run down the articulation here. Hopefully, uh, we'll do a good job so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's a little different from this angle. This is a different angle than I'm used to doing this. So bear with me here. All right, so the head... So a nice ball joint there, it looks like, at the, at the top of the neck. So look at that. It rolls all the way around. You can move the head left. You can move the head right. It's got a good range of motion there. It's not too loose. Sits very well on the top of the neck peg. You got the ball like joints at the shoulders. The arms can only go up about that far. You can see the sculpt kind of keeps them from going up any higher than that. But you can move them forwards and backwards very nicely there. You can swivel at the bicep as well as below the elbow. So there's actually two swivels there, and they're double jointed. Uh, the little pad, the elbow pad, hides the articulation really nicely, but you can see I can actually bend it up pretty good. It's double jointed there. Uh, the pad also hinders that just a little bit, but that's a pretty good range of motion right there. That's a good elbow bend. And then the wrists can swivel. So you can swivel them side to side, and they also have the hinge joint, so you can move the wrists up and down. So there we go. That's that's what the arms look like. Now the shell piece right here, as I pointed out, it's a hard plastic all the way around here, but the turtles are articulated underneath the shell. So look at that. You've got a joint at the torso, so we can still rock them around. Uh, basically, it's just going to kind of roll around there. It doesn't really turn left or right very good, but still a good range of motion otherwise, which is pretty nice. The thigh joints are the really tight ones. But you can see that they bend outwards, which is really nice. You can see they got kind of like those ball hinges there underneath. So it's nice that they're tight there because that keeps them standing good. You can swivel at the thighs as well, just like that. You can kind of hear it kind of creaking around there too. There you go, swivel at the thighs. Uh, the knees are double jointed. Look at that. This one's a little stiff. We're going to have to work that one out a little bit. But there you go. You can see you can bend the knees. Again, the, the knee pads kind of hide the joints there. But it's still a good range of motion. And then the feet... 
You've got the hinges that allow them to move forwards and backwards, pretty good range of motion. They don't really, I mean, they go side to side a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of side to side rocking motion, but not too much. But yeah, it's really nice. It feels nice and solid. They feel nice and sturdy. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Really good stuff. And then um, the interchangeable bandana is pretty cool too. So we'll do it. We'll show it with Leo. So right now the bandana is kind of laying over a shoulder there. It's just on a little peg on the back. So give it a little twist. Just pops right out of the peg. And we're going to pop this other one in its place to see how it looks. There we go. It goes in there pretty sturdy. Look at that. So this one kind of looks like it's blowing, or you can lay it down draped over the other shoulder. Um, so that's pretty cool. Gives you some different options for the way you want to display the bandanas. All right. I want to also take a look at the interchangeable hands, because that's something we haven't looked at yet. And it looks like they're kind of doing the same thing that they've done with some of the other uh, exclusive sets. The hands are shared between all of them. So it looks like they all come with gripping hands to hold their weapons, but then you get one pair of these open hands, you get one pair of the thumbs up hands, you get one pair of pointing fingers, and you get one pair of hands that looks like they're meant to hold the pizza. So you have to kind of share those between all four turtles. And it looks like we should be able to just, oh, that was, yeah, actually really easy. Just a little peg there. So we can pop that out. And the new one just slides right into place. And so now we just kind of swapped it out. So he's got this open hand here. So that's pretty cool. That's good. That's good. Functions very well. And like I said, if you picked up uh, any of the past box sets there, um, you know, like the arcade turtles or the, uh, the other, the, um, the cartoon turtles from last year, they, they all function similarly with the interchangeable hands. All right, so I'm going to try to get Leo's swords out here. I want to get a closer look at these. Bear with me, guys. Like I said, this is the part I'm not usually showing on camera, me opening the toys. So there's the swords. Look at that. I say that, I'm not even holding it up yet. <laughs> there we go. Look at the swords. Yeah, we got Leo's swords there. Very nice fully painted weapons so pretty cool stuff and of course leo's got the sword holsters on his back too which looks just like the ones uh on the quarter scale figures so you can fit the swords in his back like that pretty sweet stuff pretty sweet stuff so we've also got the mutagen ooze canister which is a very cool accessory to get in this scale and i apologize if my camera's not focusing on that very well but it's got the little crack on one side it, it i mean this looks a lot like the the replica mutagen canister that NECA made but smaller scale because it's got the little crack in it just like in the movie it's got tcri on the other side there that is really cool i always love getting mutagen canisters to fit with my ninja turtles action figures uh and of course we've got the slices of pizza the Domino's pizza, uh, which we had with the quarter scales as well. We got four of those, so four slices of pizza for all of your turtles. Let's pull some of the other turtles out of the box here uh, real quick, and then I'll do a real brief Q&A, and then I need to hop off here so I can start taking pictures. Raphael, the best turtle. You know it, bro. <laughs> there he is. Man, I love it. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It looks so good. Let's get Raph's size. So the hands, they're a little, I like this because they're not, they're not too rigid. You see how there's a little bit of give to the hands? So it's easy to put the weapons in and I don't feel like I'm going to break them. I do appreciate that quite a bit. There we go. Wrap with a size. Obviously, I'll pose these a little bit better when I'm taking pictures, but these, this is just quick, quickly showing you guys what those look like. And let's get Donnie out of the box here. Donnie's foot stuck. There we go. Good old Donatello. Check that out. Very, very cool stuff. And I'm going to get his bow staff out. See if I can get a good two handed pose here. Boom. How's that look? Is that rad or what? That is so sweet. And I didn't, I didn't pull out Mikey's nunchucks yet, so let me show you guys those. They got a rope in the middle. See that? Good stuff. So here I'll put, I'll pose Mikey with his nunchucks. Fellow chucker, eh? That was, that was from Secret of the Ooze. 
I wasn't even from this movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. And then we got Mikey. So here we go. We got Mikey. We got Leo. Donnie. Raf. Let's get them all up there. There they are, my friends. Those are the... The smaller scale, the seven-inch scale. Actually, here, let me let me do a measurement for you real quick. I brought, lean back, got the trusty tape measure. Let's measure these guys up. There you go. Just about seven inches tall. I don't even know if you can see that here. Just about full seven inches tall. So that's what, that's what we've got with these guys. So yeah, that are, there they are. These are pretty radical. They're pretty bossa nova. They are pretty Chevy Nova, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they are looking awesome. All right, all right. So here, let me, uh, before we sign off of the live stream, let me flip on over to my chat window, and I apologize. I'm not ignoring you guys. I just wanted to show you everything here. So uh, is there anything specifically you want to ask uh, just before uh, I, I, I log off here? Um, I don't have any of the last year's turtles like with me right now, but they're going to be in my actual video review. So I will do full comparison time with um, all of NECA's other Ninja Turtles figures, with the vintage movie figures, uh, the recent Playmates movie figures. I'm going to do all those comparison times, but they'll be in the final video where I can get some proper pictures for you guys uh, those are all still up in my toy room i need to dig all those down um so otherwise any other quick questions that you guys um want for these right here oh, okay so release somebody asked one of these being released in what time so i'll go over that again real quick um the pre-sale starts tomorrow and they're doing three days so june 6th june 7th and june 8th at 1 p.m eastern at the neca store i put the link in the description of this video but you can also google search the neca store um the quantities are 5,000 on this set and 2,000 on the set that comes with the diorama street scene so there's quite a few of them the first come first serve they're doing an allotment for each day they're limited two per household so I really hope that the website works good so everybody can get a hold of them so mark your calendars put it on your schedule tomorrow is the first pre-order you can have it shipped to you it's US only unfortunately because of the licensing they're not allowed to ship it overseas uh, but NECA store the NECA store is where they're gonna be sold so definitely make sure you mark your calendars 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow uh, when am I posting the review video? My plan is to have that up tomorrow, hopefully before the sale starts. Like I said, as soon as I'm done with the stream, I'm going to nail out the pictures. I'm going to record the actual video review. I'll probably be up all night editing a video, but the plan is to get this up tomorrow for you guys. So that will definitely be online tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow morning, so come back then to see the full video. Uh, I think that is 5,000, including what they're selling at San Diego. So I'm not exactly sure what their allotments are. I know they're going to have a, a set allotted for each of the three days online, and then they'll probably have an allotment for each day of San Diego Comic-Con. I'm not sure exactly. Um, why haven't I reviewed the big Michelangelo? That's a good, that's a good question. He's right here, and I also have... Um, the baby turtles right here and i also have trench coat raphael over there and mostly it's just because i've been crazy busy and i've been trying to keep up with everything i will definitely review them all i promise how much will they cost uh the base set is 125 for the four figures in the vhs box the set that comes with the massive street scene diorama is 250 dollars Uh, yeah, quarter scale shredder is still coming as far as I know. I hope that they, they can put these in uh, Shredder and the foot soldiers and maybe a Casey Jones in this scale. Oh, that's that's a future dream. I hope you're listening NECA. We want it <laughs> The joints do feel very sturdy. Somebody just asked I went over that in the in the articulation part of this video But everything is real tight and real sturdy on this I'm like real impressed with the overall quality on these guys I mean the paint looks great and they stand really good. The leg joints are a little bit tighter than the upper joints, but I think that's going to be good for posing them. But otherwise, you can see I'm moving them around really good. It's functioning very well, so articulation looks great. Uh, the pre-orders are this week. They will ship in July during Comic-Con. Uh, yes, uh, there's no diorama for the cartoon turtles. Okay, so the diorama that they're releasing right now has got a special 
paint job for San Diego. And then after San Diego, they're going to release a the exact same diorama with a different paint deco. And it's meant to just be a generic cityscape for any of your action figures, including your Ninja Turtles. So if you can't get a hold of the San Diego one, I wouldn't fret too much. You can still just buy the normal retail release when it comes out. Uh, I will be at San Diego Comic-Con this year, of course, and I'll be hooking up with Randy uh, to do my usual walkthrough as long as Zack Ryder doesn't try to steal it from me. <laughs> uh, which one is my favorite of these? Uh, well, I mean, Raphael's my favorite Ninja Turtle, so I love this one quite a bit, but honestly, I love the Donatello sculpt. The sculpt on Donnie is pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. Uh, I will definitely do a comparison time with the movie star turtles. Somebody pointed that out, so I'll do that. Do I? Th what do you think of? Do you think? Um, okay, so somebody asked if I think these are the best turtles figures yet. That is really hard because I guess it depends on what style is your favorite. But I will say that all of my favorite versions of the turtles so far are pretty much all from NECA. My all-time favorite set is still the one they did based on the Mirage comics because that's like my favorite look for the turtles. But man, these are right up there. I love their cartoon turtles as well. Um, but I'm also a big fan of the Revel Tech turtles that are based on the most recent 2012 cartoons. So I have a lot of favorite Turtles figures. It depends on your aesthetic completely, but NECA is totally crushing it. I will say that, totally crushing it. All right, guys. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Is each sculpt unique to the turtles? That is a good thing to bring up. So they do share a lot of parts with the arms, the legs, um, the shell design, the pattern on the shells is different. So that's pretty cool. You can see Raph's is way more scratched up than Donnie's. The pattern's a little different. And of course, the head sculpts are unique. But the legs and everything else there are shared between the turtles, which is totally fine, according to me, <laughs> because, I mean, they pretty much look the same anyway. So, uh, but yes, we do have unique parts with the shells and the head sculpts, of course. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off of the live stream for tonight uh, because I have a lot of work to do still. I'll probably be doing this for the next several hours, but tune back in tomorrow for my full review experience with all the comparison times, all that good stuff. And don't forget that these go on sale tomorrow. And if you miss out tomorrow, again the next day and again the next day. So hopefully you guys all get it. Like I said, they really upped the quantity this year with 5,000 of these available and 2,000 of the one with the diorama. So that's 7,000 total sets. Hopefully everybody that wants one can get a hold of them. I really hope so. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And stay tuned because that review is coming. Until next time, my friends, Calabunga!